So now we move on to Fox. Uh, now you think, how much more over the top can Fox take it? They've done just about everything you can imagine, right? Well, now they have a guest on and an anchor who is going to suggest that President Obama is going to bring Sharia law to the United States. Really? The White House is defending its nominee to be State Department legal advisor. Now, some of the criticism of this nominee, Harold Coe, is based on remarks that he reportedly made saying that Islamic Sharia law should apply in U.S. courts. Even though those laws are used in some countries to justify stripping women of basic rights, and even worse, frankly. Noni Darwish is with the group Arabs for Israel. She is also the author of the book Cruel and Usual Punishment. Noni, thanks for, for joining us this morning. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. So this man, Harold Coe, uh, this potential State Department nominee, has impressive credentials. He's a dean at Yale University. But he also has a history of supporting Sharia law even here in the U.S. What are some of the things that he has said in the past that have raised eyebrows? Well, uh, I heard that he doesn't mind uh, referring to laws, uh, foreign laws, and integrating them into the U.S. Uh, legal system. It's very hard for me to imagine even that a, an American official uh, has, uh, uh, can incorporate Sharia because Sharia is totally at odds with our Bill of Rights and our Constitution. Uh, Sharia does not allow uh, freedom of religion. Uh, it, it discriminates uh, against women, against non-Muslims. There is no equal rights under Sharia. A Muslim head of state can come to power through seizure of power, not through election. Uh, a Muslim head of state must be obeyed even if he is unjust. A Muslim woman can be beaten by her husband. Oh. Um, oh, yeah. uh, there are so many laws that are totally against our, our constitution. Does it go so uh, far it's... as to recommend honor killings in the event that a woman <laughs> has done something inappropriate or even public stonings? Well, uh, Sharia law does not discriminate between crime and sexual sin. So you can have somebody who murders a non-Muslim and if you murder a non-Muslim, you, uh, you, you won't have the death penalty. But if a woman commits a sexual crime, like having a boyfriend, uh, it is legal to, to, com to kill a woman who commits uh, 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 apostasy or who commits sexual crime. Uh, there are three murders allowed under Sharia law. The first one is uh, to kill an apostate. The second one, to kill an adulterer and to kill a highway robber. Hmm. A Muslim uh, can kill a non-Muslim and he will never get the death penalty. Now, the These picture... Are... So, sorry to in interrupt you, Noni. I just want to sh tell people that the picture that we were seeing there is of that nominee. That's Harold Coe. He reportedly, back in 2007, told the Yale Club in Greenwich, Connecticut, that, quote, in an appropriate case, he didn't see any reason why Sharia law would not be applied to govern a case in the United States. What All right. Now, the problem with that, of course, is, unsurprisingly, it is not true. Where did Fox News get this from? They say it is based on an email, an email posted on March 21st of 2007 on the National Review's blog claiming that Yale Law School Dean Harold Coe uh, had indicated that Sharia law could apply in the U.S. According to the White House spokesperson, uh, Reed Cherlin, the allegations contained in the email are absolutely false. And in fact, in an article buried in the Fox website, they themselves admit concede that it has been that they have been unable to reach the author of the email on the blog look if it's on a blog doesn't mean it's untrue that's what the right wing says all the time but the blog took an email from a guy who is not identified who Fox couldn't reach that made up something that the Dean and everybody else says is not true so this is their breaking story that this person who's been designated for the State Department role once got an anonymous email saying that he believed in Sharia law. Now, I don't know if you saw, but Harold Coe at, that, at one of those uh, pictures had a button of the rainbow on it. So 
Now, you think Harold Co. Uh, and I don't know what his gender preferences are, etc., but obviously he seems to, with that button, support gay rights. You think he'd be in favor of fundamentalist Sharia law being applied in the U.S.? You think that makes any degree of sense? Uh, come on, man. I mean, how ab absolutely absurd is this? And then the Fox anchor is like, oh, couldn't it be honor killings and stoning of women in the streets? As if that's what's going to happen. As if, like, this guy's going to come into the State Department and Obama's going to say, oh, you're right, you know what? Let's apply Sharia law and start stoning women in the streets. I mean, it is scaremongering to the utmost, to the unimaginable heights. And second of all, their guess is, of course, wrong. There's different ways that you could apply Sharia law. Am I in favor of Sharia law? Hell no. I'm a guy who was Muslim and is no longer Muslim. In essence, I have rejected Islam. I got no interest in Sharia law. But here's what I know. Harold Cole is not going to apply Sharia law in the United States. He couldn't even if he wanted to. And second of all, even if this was true, which obviously it is not true, what they're talking about is an application of different cultures and whether courts in the United States should take that into uh, consideration in certain cases. They wouldn't take into consideration, well, you stoned your daughter to death. Well, should we give that legitimate consideration? No, they're talking about smaller cases, about divorce court, et cetera, et cetera. But it doesn't matter because they're not talking about any of that. They made it up. These guys are unbelievable. And that guest over there, the friend of the Israel, the Arabs, and he, she painted everybody as if, like, that's how all the Muslims are. And this is why, you know, they no one can question uh, the leader of a state. I mean, look, none of the... Is there a fundamental Sharia, Sharia law like that? Absolutely. I'm the one who's spoken out the most against that on this show. If you watch the show, you know that 100%. But is it all Muslims, all states? Some of the fundamentalist Muslims hate the heads of their government, hate the head of the state government. She's just making up stuff. But it's Fox News. I don't know why I'm surprised. Look, when you see stuff like this, the bottom line is, Fox has no interest in the facts. I mean, look, even if you're a conservative or a Republican, you've got to look at that and go, oh, yeah, that's... Fear-mongering. Uh, is, isn't it obvious to you? I don't know why I keep trying to reach out to conservatives like, and like, kind of shake you out of your what, what you're believing here because you look at Fox News and then they get people riled up. And I guarantee you no one listened to the nuance of that. And besides which, it was a lie that they're going to have people in the Fox audience going around going, oh, yeah, I'll tell, oh, did you hear Obama put somebody in the State Department that's going to start stoning women? And he says we should, you know, apply Muslim law. By the way, if you apply Sharia law and you believe the guess as to its extreme consequences, Barack Obama's non-Muslim. So is he in favor of killing himself? Because she, the guest claimed that according to Sharia law, all Muslims must kill non-Muslims. If we put Sharia law into effect in the U.S., would Obama be signing his own death? I mean, come on! I don't know why I'm continuing with this story. God damn, man, they're unbelievable.